hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here we are all new but if you're new here you haven't been subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell button right down here so that you're notified every time i put up a new video i'm super excited today because we are going to be sharing something i've wanted to talk about in a very very long time and guess what it is it is finding your power as a woman i'm sorry to the men but yeah the women we are going to find our power today look at those things that make us feel that we are less of who we are like we don't amount to anything and then we i hope we shall leave better people with a better you know position and a high self-esteem Okay, so while growing up, especially in my primary and high school, I struggled with esteem issues. Like, I felt everyone was literally better than me um, in everything, especially, especially how I looked physically. I felt like I was constantly comparing myself to my classmates, to like people in my neighborhood. I, I never really felt like I was good enough. And to make matters worse, uh, some people um, affirmed my 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 what my suspicions, like how I felt. They they told me, uh, like they passed on those negative comments to me, and it broke me, literally broke me, and it made me believe that really I don't think I am anything. And I struggled with that a lot, and with things that I had gone through in my life. I knew really I didn't have a place, I, I didn't deserve anything, I was just supposed to be somewhere in the corner, being Flavia, somewhere, somewhere in the corner. And I know it is not just me that has gone through that, but many, many girls especially have gone through that, constantly comparing yourself to what the other people look, what the other people can do, and feeling that you, as you, no, no, you're not good enough, and... You can't be anything so i want us to look at why we feel like that and how we can overcome it one um i feel we feel like that sometimes most especially because of what society dictates as beautiful what society dictates as success what society dictates as power so we find ourselves like i said comparing ourselves to to that and then if we feel like we don't amount to it in any kind of way, we feel like, no, I am less enough. I, I mean, I am not powerful enough. I am less of what society requires, but that is not true. So we need to change that mindset again. Also throughout high school, I encountered many people, not many, like, like that many, but a number of people, a number of girls that shared with me how they felt about themselves physically and also ability wise like what they could do and i realized that it is not just one girl two girls three girls going through this but many many of us and many of them um mainly uh for those who had physical lowest team uh were constantly comparing themselves to like the girls in school, the girls in their homes, the girls, you know, and feeling like so and so is prettier and that is the standard of beauty. And for me, I have always felt like I am not really pretty and all this, so really, I that's why I do things that I do. And uh, most of them were either cocooned in the corner feeling low about themselves and not going up to take space and take positions that were, they were supposed to take. And others were making mistakes, which were never right. We shall talk about that as well. Making mistakes like trying to find affirmation and love in other people, especially the wrong people. Like trying to find um, affirmation in anyone. Who told a girl, for example, that you're beautiful if a guy told a girl that you're beautiful and since she never believed it and she's hearing it maybe for the first time, second time, she felt like, yeah, I think I belong with this guy. So they constantly found them jumping from a man to man, man to man. So they made careless mistakes here and there, which was never right. But 
I feel like we can overcome this first as individuals, you as you, who feels that finding what is good about you and um, concentrating on that and then making it um, like be the main, like the main description of who you are. Yeah, so one thing, one thing that um, picked me up and made me to see myself differently was God. Yeah, I feel like that should be your first, like your first priority, first way to like run to, to believe in who you are. From the very beginning, God says, I have created you in my own image, in my likeness. So you're physically like God, you're in an image of God. And we don't believe that God is like not up to it. God is definitely everything. He's the creator, so he creates everything perfectly. So you are created in an image of God. So that means that you should take that, believe it, and assume, assume what God thought about, assume what God thought about, or think about what God thought about when he was making you, creating you. And take that as your first power. If you really believe it and meditate about it and think about it, you will actually find that no, I shouldn't be cocooned somewhere when I was created in God's image and likeness. Likeness means everything else. He has given you potential. Because God is God, you know. He, he like his God, he has created everything, he has placed everything in its place, he knows he knows everything about you, so what makes you feel like you can be less of that? I'm not saying you assume God's position, but I'm saying that you think about what God has given you, the power, the talents, the everything. Look deep within you, you will find those things. And then, or if you don't find them, discover them, try things, different things here and there. And you'll see that you actually have a power, you actually can do things. The things that I do now, and I'm like, okay. Hey, hey. So I can actually do this thing. <laughs> like what have I been waiting for all this while? Or the things that I saw people do and felt like those things are meant for them and not for me. And when I tried them out, I actually found I can do them. So what makes you think you can't? Yeah, so the first point is God. God has created you in his image and his likeness. And somewhere again in Psalms, I'm not sure the verse, or the chapter but i think the chapter um is psalms 139 i will confirm it goes ahead to like describe how god um has made you and knows everything about you and it says you are fearfully i don't know why it says you or i but whatever this is the message you are fearfully and wonderfully made fearfully like god took his time to mold you shape you and make who make you who you are and then he wonderfully made you everything about you, your, 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 your talents, your personality, your, you know, all these things. He made you wonderfully and fearfully. So why would you put yourself down there and feel like, no, I am not good enough. So this is my secret. For me, those are my two secrets, God and those two specific uh, Bible relations or Bible verses that give me confidence to believe that I can show up, show up and feel beautiful and feel powerful and feel all those things because that is what God has made me. So let us begin believing that this is for everyone. Uh, the guys also, if you struggle with low self-esteem or but mainly the girls, because I know that many of them face these things and then they actually make mistakes. So beside the physical appearance, I know most times we feel we can do things one because we have not dug deeper within ourselves to find our talents or to find our bigger abilities or our unique abilities but when we see people use theirs go out there and speak and do this and do that and invent this we feel like why don't i even have a talent i've met people who be like well, I mean, I think I don't have any talent. And I'm like, how? You can't not have a talent. At least you will be good at eating, like, perfectly without, you know. <laughs> but you will have something that is unique about you that you can use to show up and take your position in life, in society, in your class, in your workplace, anywhere. 
you have that unique ability about yourself and it took me a very long time to also discover mine and i think i'm still discovering mine but it took me trying so another thing you can do to boost your confidence and your power is actually find your talents find those things that are unique about you those abilities that are unique about you maybe you draw maybe you write maybe you make up perfectly maybe your style your fashion style is different or i don't know but there has to be something and you will never know until you try out something for yourself you know if you feel like i can do this but then something tells you oh no you can't speak to those small voices within yourself and do it by challenging yourself to that position too trying out something like that there is a quote that i know um that says that our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure you can feel inadequate in all these ways physically emotionally socially academically you know and what you can do with your abilities but that shouldn't be your fear. Your fear is that once you discover those things that you are good at, once you discover your power, then it will be too much for the world to consume. Like, it will be too much. You will glow and, you know, go out there and shine. And, you know, it will be too much that the world can't contain it. Like, it will be that much. So that should be your fear. And when you have that fear, not like fear, fear to bring you down, but the fear to actually take you out in the world and start doing things show up for yourself hold your head high and start glowing there's a secret to confidence and these people that you see and admire and feel like oh this person has made it oh this person is like on the other level i'll never be at they also started somewhere and that is where you can start so i really really wanted to talk about this because i know most of us are struggling with it either secretly or we've actually talked about it but in any way you are struggling please go out and address these things beginning with you because someone else may not see that in you unless you show it yourself so begin by discovering those things challenging yourself to believe different of what you believe one secret i have another secret that i have that is a bit um funny is i talk to myself most of the time <laughs> tell myself these things like I am beautiful, I am strong, I am meant for success, I can do this and you know and I challenge myself to those. So one, believe in the word, in what God has made of you. He has made you in his image and his likeness. You are fearfully and wonderfully made physically and ability wise in everything. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by God and his plans for you uh, for prosperity and not disaster his plans for you are not you know to be there down there hiding yourself in cowardice and feeling low about yourself his plans for you are to take up space to glow to shine so go out and take that with confidence because your god knows you and your god loves you another secret is challenge yourself to do things that you think you can't whatever it is you feel you can't do try it out you will be shocked at what you can do um there is a quote about uh, uh, there is a quote of something abraham lincoln said that we shall i don't really know how to paraphrase it like exactly as he said but he kind of drives the point that you will be shocked at what you can do when you know the power that you have something like that you will literally be shocked so try out those things and you know everything takes practice to perfect try them out and you will be shocked at what you can do at the superpowers that you have within you and when you've rediscovered yourself in every sense come out to the world and shine and glow and take up your space and everything will be just fine so i hope that the next time i am here we shall have um different you know sharings about how this has impacted us or about how we found our energies and our confidence and you know and shut down or shut out the world that tells us no you can't or the thoughts and the negative you know emotions that tell us no you're less of who you are okay so thanks for listening to me thanks for being here see you in my next video please watch my videos subscribe and comment and share
and let us grow. Thank you.